friends, this is Rebecca here at Shiny Mountain Zoo. And as you can see, I am here with our lovely little moose calf, Atka, um, our Alaskan moose calf that joined us in July. And if you've been following along with this guy, there's one thing you're gonna notice right off the bat. He has grown a lot. So when he got here, this little guy was at about 70 pounds. And now Atka is weighing more in the 250 pound range for this guy too. So this is kind of how he's growing. He has to have a healthy diet to grow. And so Atka here, when he first came, he was drinking mostly milk. That was most of his nutrition was from a bottle, but he's transitioned from bottle into mostly solid foods. And so what I have here is a lovely bouquet of brows, if you will. Uh, we have some elm, which he's actually eating on right now. Elm is the favorite. Uh, Peafowl back there agree that that's a delightful snack there. You may hear them squawking back there. Uh, but we also have some willow in here. This little guy, as far as he's concerned, he would pretty much want to eat elm all the time. And we've been offering him a lot of other browse options and he really just wants to eat the elm. It wasn't until a few weeks ago that he started to experiment again with willow and aspen. So I have a feeling we might actually find him having more seasonal appetite for browse just because I bet you it tastes different depending upon the season too. So he's going to enjoy this little snack here while we chat and he's really gotten great at peeling the bark off of the browse and once the browse loses its leafy um, parts to eat, moose will eat the um, bark as well. And sometimes we like to peel those little bark bits for him and we call them his little noodles. And then Atka is also getting about 20 cups of a special grain every day as well. So um, this little guy, like I say, he's growing quite a bit, but um, he's gaining about 14 pounds a day. So it seems like every week you see him, he's getting a little bigger. And you'll also notice that his colors have changed a little bit too. So when he first came to us, he was kind of this lovely little rusty red color and he's officially moved into his dark chocolate mousse coloring now, but he's got quite the thick coat that's happening. This guy is ready for winter. He knows it's on its way, even though it's been super warm lately. If you just check out how thick this coat is, like this guy is ready for the cooler temperatures, but he is from Alaska, so he's prepared for that. And um, he's, like I say, gone into his darker colors. Check out the ear hair game that's happening right now too, if you can get them to loop around for you guys. But check out how fuzzy those ears are. Like this guy has got the best fuzzy ears in town as far as we're concerned. So little Akka here, you'll also notice that he's wearing kind of some shoe wear, if you will. So you look down, you'll see he has a little bandage on. Um, he did actually have an abscess in his foot that we were able to find and clean out and he's well on his way with healing. But if you ever have had to wear a cast or you know somebody who had to wear a cast, you know the important thing is keeping it clean and dry. And so that's why he has this bandage on to make sure that that space stays clean and dry. We keep the germs out until it's all healed up. And we do a bandage change about once a week. But you notice he's standing on it great. He's moving around great. So he's well on his way to the mend. And actually he's doing so well that soon he's gonna actually have more of his yard space. We just had to keep him a little bit um, less active in those early days of healing. But he's already at a point where hopefully next week we'll have a bigger yard space for him too. Now little Akka here, he is learning to train. He's learning to um, participate in a lot of his medical care, which has been amazing. And one of the great things we've discovered, the secret ingredient is banana to successful medicating of little Atka here, because he's been on some antibiotics and that sort of thing. Now this banana came from my house this morning, and this is well beyond when I would eat it. Um, I've, most people I've talked to about bananas over the years, you kind of have a point where it's a no-go situation. But little Atka here, he doesn't care what shape the banana's in, and he will eat it peel and all. So I'm gonna offer him would you like some banana, good sir? You want this? Hold on. He may want to go check out that other little browse bit here. Maybe he isn't feeling this banana today, but we do use these and he'll eat it like banana peel and all. Come up here, you want this? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll eat that banana. And banana has been actually really helpful for us, not just for the medicating, but getting him used to eating his brows, or I'm sorry, his grain as well. Because when he first came to us, 
We didn't want to just eat the grain by itself, so we would put banana mash in there. We don't have to put banana mash in the grain anymore. He'll eat it by itself. But apparently right now, this elm grouse, like I told you guys, it's a favorite, is more important than banana right now. So, you know, that's okay. It's his choice. We'll just offer him the snacks and let him just do what he wants to do. So, you know, really in the grand scheme of things, thanks for, you know, he's doing great. Thanks for tuning in, checking in on Mr. Atka, joining us for his update. Um, I guarantee you're gonna keep seeing him grow and grow. A popular question we get though is where is his antlers? He doesn't grow those until next year, not until he's about a year old. So next spring, we should hopefully start to see the antler nubbins. Right now, he just gets to have extra fur on his head and you can notice his little bells growing and that sort of thing. So he's got plenty growing before he needs to work on antlers. Uh, thanks again for tuning in guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.